Greetings everyone, this is Rehina bin Mohammed from National Institute of Technology, Agartala, an undergrad chemical engineering student. I'm doing volunteership under AFRS. Today I'm going to discuss about forensic archaeology. So here is the table of contents which include abstract, forensic archaeology, fields of forensic archaeology, excavating a shallow grave, forensic archaeology figures, important types of evidences, interpretation of a forensic excavation, conclusion and references. In abstract, uh, forensic archaeology is the application of archaeological methodology and techniques to forensic investigation. Forensic archaeologists usually get involved in murder inquiries and they are usually outside consultants. Uh, so in most cases either the grave needs finding or is found and requires excavating. Excavation without the proper training can often lead to horrific results such as the loss of loss or destruction of evidence. In the United States it is only a few police service that regularly acts as a forensic archaeologist through it is common practice in other parts of the world. Forensic archaeology is a field of forensic science which involves application of archaeological methods in investigation of a crime scene in order to identify evidence and reconstruct crime scene, usually a murder. Forensic archaeologists are employed to excavate and recover human remains, personal items, weapons, etc. as well as eliminate non-related objects. The process of forensic archaeology is very similar to that used by traditional archaeologists when recovering remains from the past. There are various fields for uh, forensic archaeology, graves and grave sites. Uh, forensic archaeologists are often employed by the police to help locate and excavate graves and grave sites as well as identify evidence related to crime and reconstruct the course of events that took place before the victim's burial. Objects related to crime. These can include both personal objects of a victim of crime and objects buried by the preparator to hide their involvement, involvement in the crime. They may involve weapons, tools, various personal objects, etc. Next, uh, field uh, surface disposal of human remains. Forensic archaeologists are usually called in to help gather evidence in cases of surface disposal of human remains. These include covering the body with the tree benches, uh, rubbish, construction materials, etc. Forensic archaeologists remove layer by layer in order to identify evidence and exclude objects that aren't connected with the crime or victim. Next field is mass graves. These are usually commissioned by organizations such as UN. While the investigation is focused on both recovery of human remains for identification and gathering incriminating evidence of war crimes. Next field is buried evidence relevant for civil cases. Sometimes forensic archaeologists don't have to excavate human remains and look for buried evidence related to crime uh, such as murder. Now we are uh, uh, going to discuss about excavating a shallow grave. Uh, identify the grave cut or area and then step the excavation unit and then taking the depths and we will take photography and plan drawings and then after that bisecting the feature and removing the soil and then screening the soil after that evidence recovery uh, after that profile drawing and then recovery of human remains and then backfiling. Now we can uh, see important types of evidence uh, often found are large evidence and tiny evidence. Large evidence include human remains, uh, the potential murder weapon, newspaper, clothing, uh, bank notes, etc. Tiny evidence often it's the tiny bits of evidence that end up being the most important. Things like cigarette butts, coins, scraps of paper, teeth, rings, bits of vegetables, charred remains, fibers, bullet or blade figments, um, glass, etc. Now we are going to do the interpretation of a forensic excavation. Once the excavation is completed, a forensic archaeologist must compile all the notes and drawings from the site into an expert witness statement.
the statement is essentially a report on the activities completed and an interpretation of the site's depositional history. In most cases, the excavation will not provide any evidence directly related to the suspect. Rather, it provides information regarding the overall series of the events being investigated. Using the context uh, sun covered, the forensic archaeologist can provide an account of how and when objects were deposited. Now, uh, the, the conclusion about all this is that besides helping locate and excavate human remains, and identify objects relevant for a case, forensic archaeologists also help to reconstruct the crime scene and determine the age of the crime scene. Similarly, to mainstream archaeologists when uncovering the relics of ancient civilization. That's all. Thank you.